Now, whether you're a fan or not, I'm pretty sure you'll have heard of the wizard, Harry Potter. Well, one woman from Neath is such a fan that she's decided to recreate the magic of Hogwarts in her own home. Her collection of wizardy memorabilia is thought to be one of the biggest and rarest in the UK. It has to be seen, really, to be believed. So we sent our muggle, Mike Griffiths, along to take a look. When does a hobby become a way of life? In Victoria McLean's case, her passion for all things Potter began more than a decade ago. After reading the first book, I fell in love completely. I loved it so much. I wanted more, I wanted to hear more, I wanted to see more. And I, I was finding out that more cultures, more countries were bringing out some incredible, incredible items. Jap uh, Japan, uh, everywhere, they're just doing some fantastic items. And I just wanted them, I wanted to be able to look at them and have them with me, have them in my collection. And it's just grown from there, piece by piece by piece. So here it is. Here it is. And grown it has. Victoria now has one of the largest collections of Harry Potter memorabilia in the UK. Anything Harry Potter and, and I'm, I'm happy. A lot of items I bought when they first came out as well. So they were the lowest price of recommended retail price. So obviously those items now have gone up in value. Along the way, she's had a Harry Potter themed wedding with props she built herself. And she's rubbed shoulders with a number of stars from the films. When I met um, Tom Felton, who plays Draco Malfoy on the set of This Morning, which I filmed last March, um, he was completely different to what I'd expect. Obviously, he plays this mean, nasty bully in Harry Potter. And when I said to him, I said, can I give you a hug? He said, of course you can. He said, I'm not like that other guy at all. And he was just utterly delightful. One person she hasn't met so far is the book's author, J.K. Rowling. I did write to her. I have written to her a few times, telling her, updating her on things I'm doing. I do get her assistant replies, but I have had her autograph sent to me in the post, which is amazing. With more productions from the Potter universe on the horizon, Victoria's collection shows no signs of stopping. Mike Griffiths, ITV News. Well, Ruth, uh, 